All right, welcome back. I'm Dylan Black, and guess what? The marketing coordinator for the Ottawa School of Art joins us right now. She is Nina Camilleri, and it's good to have you here. Thank you. Thanks Happy for New Year. Us. Thank you. Happy you New guys, Year. thank you. You've been around for quite some time. Not you. <laughs> Not me personally. The Ottawa School of Art has been around for how many years? Um, next year we'll be celebrating our 140th. So it seems to be yeah. a long time. Yeah. Long time, a long time doing good things in our community. Yes. What exactly does the Ottawa School of Art do? Um, well, present day, we um, are a visual arts school that offers programs for children, teens, adults. Uh, we also have a post-secondary program, a mm -hmm. three-year and a one-year. Okay. So it offers a diploma and a, and a certificate. So we cover basically anywhere from ages five to... A hundred? Really? Yeah. We've had, yeah. I, I knew you did something along those lines because the Ottawa School of Art sounds pretty self-explanatory. Right, right. You, you, know, you, school, <laughs> you school art. Uh, tell us about this uh, brand new exhibition. So it's called Christos Pantieras, Am I Worth It? Yes. Okay, so now Christos, Ottawa-based? Yes, he is, yes. Okay, tell us about Christos. Uh, well, he was uh, born in 1973 um, in Ottawa, and um, he is a multi multidisciplinary artist. Okay. So he works in uh, different uh, media forms, a contemporary artist. Um, so some of his um, previous artworks he's done, uh, he did one with um, neon lighting. So very kind of contemporary. Mm -hmm. Now this, um, this exhibition, it's actually an installation. Uh, so he took over our gallery space and, um, and his work covers uh, basically about online dating and online relationships. Really? And what he did was he transformed the floor of our gallery space into almost like a cobblestone, but using um, uh, letters. Okay. And it's an interactive piece. You can actually walk on the, on the artwork. Okay, and we see this. Uh, so what exactly are, what are those letters? Are they, are they meant to say something or? Um, well, what he did was he um, he took some words from some email exchanges. Yeah. So now a lot of the letters are have been jumbled, so there is no meaning necessarily to most of the letters. But there is a phrase that does stand out. And, and what's that? Is it? Are you, can you tell us? Because because if it's online dating, this could be risque. No. <laughs> no. It's it's not. Um, <laughs> okay. But it's so the title of the exhibition is "Am I Worth It?" and the phrase that stands out is "I'm not willing to make the effort." Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So why would that phrase be the one that's used? Uh, well, he found from his personal experience is that through online dating and through online relationships, things can foster online. You can meet someone online, never having met face to face, but it never actually evolves into a face to face relationship. So through his experiences, he's found that he questions, am I worth it? Hmm. And he's found that through some of his experiences, okay. others have not been willing to put in the effort. That's very interesting. That's, yeah, because I, I guess the world of online dating can be a complex it's, place to be. It's tricky. And it's not like relationships have completely changed from where they were 50 years ago, 20 years ago even. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we did have pen pal even through the war, right? People were, uh, had, were le sending letters. There was a time gap. Sometimes mm -hmm. it would take months for these letters. Now with email, it's instantaneous mm -hmm. with, tw with tweets, with, um, so yeah, yeah, it's completely changed. I often wonder if the world of pen pals even exists anymore. Right, yeah. You know, people are yeah. still writing to each other the classic way. So uh, mm -hmm. you have an opening night uh, coming up as well, at, which is real soon, because it's this Thursday. Yes, it is. Okay, what can people expect at the opening night? Well, what's exciting at the opening night is the chance to meet the artist. And if you have any questions, um, or if you want to pick his brain, um, that's your opportunity to okay. meet him face to face. I is, he st is he single? Like, is he still looking for love? Or? <laughs> uh, that I am not sure, <laughs> but you can find out Thursday night. Yeah. So. Oh, I'm yeah. curious. Uh, not only so, not only the large-scale installation on the tiled floor, which we saw, but what else? Uh, what other pieces would be on hand from Christos? Uh, well, that's the you know, that's the work that's at our gallery. Okay, so it's so just that's, that's that one installation piece. piece. Yeah, it takes up the whole gallery floor space. Okay. How long actually? Did, do you know how long it would have taken him to put that down? Uh, it took uh, three days to no four days to install. Okay. So they were actually um, they're concrete. They're molds and they were poured with concrete. And so they're actually larger plaques. So the installation wasn't necessarily, it wasn't letter by letter, right? It was larger okay. molds. You're located at 35 George Street and there's other, uh, other stuff going on. There are other ex uh, exhibits happening? Yes, because we also have a campus in Orleans at uh, 245 um, Centrum Boulevard at the Shankman Arts yes, Center. Yes, of course. So we have um, an exhibition that opened uh, last week at, by Julia Hendrickson. 
and that's a video installation that's oh, going on there. Okay, yeah. and so people can just drop by any, at yep. any time to yep. see it? open gallery space. Yeah. You've had that uh, space at the Shankman Arts Centre for quite some time, right? Yeah, it's since 2009. Mm -hmm. So they'll be, yeah, we'll be celebrating our 10 year there. That's, that's very yeah. cool. It's yeah. great that you have these different locations where people, because if you're going to Shankman Arts Centre, perhaps you're not going there as a destination to see what you've put there, but then you come across it and you learn about it because you didn't know it was there. And, oh, art, it's kind of neat. So yeah. uh, March break camps uh, and winter camps. Let, I guess we should start talking about that because March break really isn't that far off. Yeah, and those are coming up uh, March 12th, the week of uh, March 12th. So we, uh, we're offering uh, camps at both, uh, both locations uh, and they're divided up by age groups. So five to six, six to seven year olds, uh, eight to nine, all the way to teens. Okay, so what exactly would, would a young young person learn at these camps? Uh, well, depending on age, it's uh, the camps are geared, the classes are geared towards the age group, whereas with the younger children, uh, you tend to find more multidisciplinary. So they'll do some painting, some sculpture, uh, some printmaking, and the older teen are very specific. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a ceramics course. Okay. Yeah. Christos Pantieras, Am I Worth It? it uh, it's open now until February 4th. Yes. But we've got an opening night with the artist to drop and buy. That's coming up on Thursday. Yep. Thank you very much for being here. What time does that start, by the way? 5 p.m. 5 o'clock at uh, 35 George. Yes. Nina, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having us. Thank and we've got uh, much more coming up on Daytime. Don't go anywhere.